how to install the official build of pixel experience based on android 12 on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official build of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 on the Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. And how do you unlock the bootloader? Video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need is access to a computer because at the time of recording this video, you cannot flash the official build of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 from a custom recovery. So unfortunately, yes, you do need access to a computer if and when we have a flashable ROM which can be flashed via TWRP or a custom recovery, we will make a separate video and that video can be found in the description of this video and in the pinned comment of this video. Now, because you need access to a computer, you would also need the ADB fast boot drivers and again, video for that can be found in the description of the video another thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device another super important thing which i personally recommend you do is to switch from stock MIUI. If you're running like a custom ROM which is based on MIUI which messes with the firmware then you might have issues flashing pixel experience. So my personal advice is to switch from stock MIUI and in case you're not running stock MIUI you're running say MIUI China, Xiaomi EU, go back to stock MIUI and then continue. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove all our accounts and security measures. So if you're running MIUI, you will go into settings and then you will go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Those of you who are running custom ROMs based on AOSP, you can go into settings, security, again, same process, remove your fingerprint, face unlock pin and then you can go into settings passwords and accounts and remove your google accounts now once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device Next thing we need to do is we need to boot our POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 into fast boot mode. So go ahead, turn off your device and once the device has turned off, press and hold power and volume down. Again, once the device has turned off, press and hold power and volume down till you see the fast boot logo. And at this point, we are going to connect our phone to the computer using a USB cable. Next up here we are on the computer and these here are the files you need. So you need ADB and Fastboot. This here is platform tools. This is a zip file has ADB and Fastboot. And of course you do need your ADB and Fastboot drivers. How do you install the drivers? Video for that can be found in the description of the video. Next up you need the ROM itself. So this here is the official build of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 for the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. And last but not the least you also need the recovery file and this here is the recovery file do note this is a .img file next up we have to unzip this platform tools file so if you are using windows again right click on the file and then say show more options for windows 11 you will be greeted with a menu like this and i'm going to say extract to platform tools folder do note i am using winrar for the purpose of unarchiving my file you can use any software which you want to next up we need to move these pixel experience files to the correct folder which is the folder wherein you have your adb you have your fast boot so what i'm going to do is select both these files once they are selected right click and then we are going to say 
cut then we are going to go into the platform tools folder here and we have another folder go inside this one and now over here you have adb and you have fast boot over here so we are going to right click over here and then we are going to say paste so what this has done has this has moved the pixel experience official rom zip and the recovery image file into the same folder where you have adb and fast boot next thing you need to do is tap on your address bar make sure everything is highlighted press the backspace key on your keyboard and then type in cmd and press the enter key once you do that it is going to open a command prompt window in the very folder the first thing we are going to do is we are going to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and the command for that is fast boot space devices once you've entered the command go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode now if your device is not detected means you do not have the drivers installed and again video on how to install the drivers can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to flash the recovery image which we have downloaded so the command for that is fast boot space flash space boot and name of the recovery image file now it is a bit tedious to type in the whole name so what i suggest you do is you just go ahead and drag and drop this recovery image to your command prompt and as you can see the name was plugged in and the command is fast boot space flash space boot name of the image file drag and drop it and then press the enter key so this is going to flash the recovery image to our poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 in my case it is flashing to boot underscore b if in your case it flashes to boot underscore a that is absolutely fine now once the file has flashed successfully what we need to do disconnect your device and it is still in fast boot mode and then press and hold power and volume up together again disconnect from the computer press and hold power and volume up together and keep it pressed once you see the poco logo the redmi logo or the mi logo let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and this is going to ensure that we boot into our recovery and here it is you can see that we have booted into pixel experience recovery now what you need to do over here go into the option of factory reset using the volume buttons so again volume plus and minus to navigate and then power to select factory reset is highlighted and it is selected press the power button and again format data factory reset it is highlighted press the power button now select format data one more time press the power button and there it is you can see formatting data was done without any issues next thing we need to do is we need to go back so tap on this back button and then we need to go into the second option which says apply update now here and select apply update from adb now go ahead and connect your phone to the computer using the usb cable one more time all right so we are back on the computer we are still in command prompt inside the very folder the phone is connected to the computer in adb side load mode so we are going to check whether our device is being detected in side load mode or not and the command for that is adb space devices and once you've entered the command press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is connected in side load mode next thing we need to do is we need to side load the official pixel experience on our poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 and the command for that is adb space side load and in this case we have to put in the name of the zip file so again i suggest you go ahead and drag and drop the file that's it adb space side load space drag and drop the file and then press the enter key on your keyboard and there it is you can see that the file is being served and on your phone on your phone you will see that it is saying installing update step one of two now this process is going to take some time so you have to be patient also if you are using a laptop make sure it has enough battery if it does not have enough battery connect it to a charger you do not want your computer to shut down in the process of flashing a custom rom on your poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k 40 now a super important thing to note over here is that you might not get 100% on your computer as long as you get 
transfer 1x and the second important thing to note is that on your phone you get step 2 of 2 as long as you get those two things that means that the rom was flashed without any issues again you might not reach 100 percent on your computer for me it stopped at like 47 48 percent and then i got the transfer 1x and step 2 of 2 on my phone now at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer now next thing we need to do is we need to reboot our device so we will go back and then make sure that reboot system is highlighted in case it is not you have to use your volume buttons to switch through the different options once reboot system now is highlighted press the power button to reboot your device and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 which means we are booting into the official build of pixel experience based on android 12 and the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient in fact it did not take much time and we are on the setup screen let me go ahead and skip the initial setup real quick and here it is we are on the home screen let us go into settings and dark mode is enabled out of the box we can disable that for now and then we can go into about phone and here and if i tap on the android version there it is you can see that android version is 12 security patches from january 2022 which is the latest at the time of recording this video the rom here is pixel experience official build for eloith which is the code name for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and there it is peeps that is how you install the official build of pixel experience based on android 12 on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you